All right, so we're gonna do our air brake test here. We got our air. Make sure you get your air built up at 120. You want that, you want that full. Get your truck cut off. Got your wheels chopped. Make sure your wheels are chopped. So you can say, okay, Miss Examiner, I'm gonna do my air brake test now. So the first thing I'm gonna do with my wheels chalked, I'm gonna go ahead and release the brakes, charge the system. And I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and I shouldn't lose in a single vehicle, no more than three PSI if it's a combination, four PSI. So I got my foot on my brake right here. Now I'm not trying to put my foot through the floorboard, I'm just adding a little pressure. And the examiner more than likely is gonna say, after a couple of seconds, she's gonna say, okay, that minute has passed. But don't anticipate her saying that. Just count in your, in your head 60 seconds, and if she stops you early, that's fine. So for this, we're gonna say, okay, that minute has passed. All right, so that's our, our initial right there. We're gonna make sure that was our applied pressure test. So the next part of the brake test is our low air pressure warning light and buzzer. So the first thing we gotta do is cut the switch on to the battery position. So we're gonna fan the brakes and at around 60 PSI, you'll notice there's a red line right there. That's gonna help you remember. So around 60, not at 60, but around 60, we're gonna see a light. As soon as that light comes on, I'm gonna stop fanning. Cause here in this truck, the buzzer comes on like two seconds later. And I don't wanna keep fanning, my brake will pop out. So here we go, I'm gonna start fanning. And again, at around 60 PSI, my brake, my, my low air light and alarm should come off. There's my light, there's my alarm. Okay, so I'm gonna to continue to fan, and at around 40, not at 40, but around 40, my brake should pop out and release. There we go. It'll get spongy too, you'll probably get spongy. And there we go, my brake is released. Now when I crank the truck back up, let's cut that off. So when I crank the truck back up, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push the clutch in, and I'm gonna wiggle the gear shifter, and I'm gonna do a safe start. You can't just do it, you gotta verbalize it. You gotta tell them, hey, I'm, I'm gonna be doing a safe start. And you, you can see out of the corner of your eye if they're riding and you want them to be riding. So uh, you just crank the truck up. Then slowly uh, let the clutch out as you're wiggling the gear shifter. That's gonna be a safe start. Then while you're building air pressure back up, you'll hop out, put your chalks back up, and you're gonna do a pull test. So with your brake released, you're just gonna put the truck in uh, first gear and you're just gonna let the clutch out a little bit and uh, to, that's just to make sure that the brakes hold the vehicle. And you'll see your RPM drop down a little bit or whatever, you know, I'm sure you've done this already. So then for your final test, you're gonna do uh, what's called the service brake test. So that was the parking brake test. So the service brake test is where you get up to five miles an hour, then you stop quickly. And you just wanna make sure the truck isn't pulling to the left, it's not pulling to the right, and it's not, you know, no funny noises, no anomalies or anything like that. So when you get done with that, uh, you're gonna say, okay, I guess that's, uh, that's my, that's my pre-trip, I'm done with it. She's gonna say, are you sure? So just, you know, go over everything in your head. That's what I was saying earlier. When you do a section, like say you do all your steering components, just stop after you get done with that and just review it. Hey, did I forget something? Did I say my joints and sockets are not loose and worn? When, when I turn my my uh, my steering shaft, did I say no more than 10 degrees of play on a 20 inch wheel? Did I say any loose or missing nuts and bolts and cotter keys? Did I say my brakes are not worn dangerously? dangerously thin so just kind of review everything as you're doing it and uh or say when you get done with the section just review it and hopefully uh you'll pass